This is the Music History Today podcast for September 7th. On today's show, Tupac is shot. It's a big MTV Video Music Award ceremony day, and two things sort of related to September 11, 2001 take place. First up, though, on this date in 1975, the Guess Who played their final gig before breaking up. They reunited some years later. In 1975, same day, a United States judge found that George Harrison plagiarized the Chiffon song He's So Fine for his song My Sweet Lord. In 1979, the anti-nuclear energy concert series Muse started in New York City. Also on that exact same day, singer Youssef Islam, a.k.a. Cat Stevens, married his wife, Fuzia Ali. In 1984, Janet Jackson eloped and married James DeBarge of the group DeBarge. That didn't last all that long. Hours, I believe. In 1985, at the height of the movie soundtrack era, for the first time since the late 1950s, the top three songs on Billboard's Hot 100 singles chart were all from movies. Number three was Tina Turner's We Don't Need Another Hero from Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Number two was Huey Lewis and the News' Power of Love from Back to the Future. And number one was John Parr's St. Elmo's Fire Man in Motion from the movie St. Elmo's Fire. In 1986, Michael Nesmith reunited with the Monkees for one concert in Los Angeles. In 1988, former United States soldier and singer of the hit song Ballad of the Green Berets, Barry Sadler, was shot in the back of a taxi in Guatemala City, Guatemala. He passed away from his wounds over a year later. In 1996, Tupac Shakur was shot five times in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada after watching a Mike Tyson heavyweight bout. He passed away almost a week later. In 1996, same day, Tico Torres of Bon Jovi married model Ava Herzegova. In 2001, Michael Jackson performed the first of two concerts at Madison Square Garden in New York City as part of his 30th anniversary tribute concerts. The second concert would be held on September 10th, the night before the terrorist attacks a couple miles away at the World Trade Center. Also in 2001, Ryan Adams shot a music video for his song New York, New York at Brooklyn Bridge Park in Brooklyn, New York, across from Lower Manhattan. The video featured the World Trade Center in the background. Four days later, those buildings would be gone. In 2003, John Mellencamp, Neil Young, and Willie Nelson were among the performers at the Farm Aid 17 charity concert. In 2008, Noel Gallagher of Oasis was attacked during a performance in Toronto, Canada by a fan who rushed the stage. In 2013, country music singer Sonny Ozell married actor Patrick Stewart. In 2015, the group Day 6 was formed. In 2016, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band held their longest concert to date at that time when they performed for four hours and four minutes at Philadelphia. In 2018, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj had their now infamous fight during a Fashion Week event in New York City. And in 2020, singer Lily Allen married actor David Harbour, who plays Hooper on Stranger Things. They got married in Las Vegas by an Elvis impersonator, no less. In theater, in 1974, the Broadway show Irene closed, and in 2008, the musical Rent closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on September 7th in 1988, In Excess was the big winner at the MTV Video Music Awards. In 1995, TLC, Madonna, and Tom Petty were among the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. In 2000, it was Eminem's big year at the MTV Video Music Awards. The ceremony is best remembered, though, for when Rage Against the Machine bassist Tim Comerford climbed the backdrop on stage while Limp Bizkit was on stage performing. And in 2008... Chris Brown and Britney Spears were among the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. Albums that were released in the UK on September 7th include in 1992 when Toto released Kingdom of Desire. Meanwhile in America, in 1973, 
The Mothers of Invention released Overnight Sensation. In 1974, Earth, Wind and Fire released Another Time. In 1979, Iggy Pop released New Values. Gary Newman released The Pleasure Principle and The Slits released Cut. In 1981, Matt Johnson released Burning Blue Soul. In 1982, Cool in the Gang released As One and Iggy Pop released Zombie Birdhouse. In 1984, Jethro Tull released Under Wraps, Queensryche released The Warning, and Merciful Fate released Don't Break the Oath. In 1987, the Pet Shop Boys released Actually, Mike Oldfield released Islands, and Timothy B. Schmidt released Timothy B. In 1990, Led Zeppelin released the Led Zeppelin box set. In 1993, John Hyatt released Perfectly Good Guitar, Iggy Pop released American Caesar, John Mellencamp released Human Wheels. In 1998, Bell and Sebastian released The Boy with the Arab Strap. In 1999, Agnostic Front released Riot, Riot Upstart, and The Buzzcocks released Modern. In 2004, Jesse Colin Young released Living in Paradise, Matthew Sweet released Living Things, and Christine McVie released In the Meantime. In 2009, Scylla Black released Scylla All Mixed Up. In 2010, Natalie Cole released The Most Wonderful Time of the Year. And in 2018, country music singer Kathy Matea released Pretty Bird. Singles that were released in the UK on September 7th include in 1973 when Elton John released Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. In 1979, The Buggles released Video Killed the Radio Star. In 1981, Depeche Mode released Just Can't Get Enough. And in 1987, When in Rome released The Promise. Meanwhile, in America, in 1957, Sam Cooke did a twofer. He released Summertime and You Send Me. In 1964, The Zombies released She's Not There. In 1965, Bob Dylan released Positively Fourth Street. In 1967, Aretha Franklin released You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. In 1971, The Supremes released Touch. In 1973, Chicago released Just You and Me. In 1975, The Eagles released Lion Eyes. In 1983, Madonna released Holiday. In 1984, Billy Ocean released Caribbean Queen and Vanity released Pretty Mess. In 1987, Michael Jackson released Bad. In 1993, Kim Wilde released If I Can't Have You. In 1994, Weezer released Buddy Holly and in 2004, Shania Twain and Keith Urban released Party for Two. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 7th include Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Buddy Holly, singer Rosie McClelland, rapper YK Osiris, singer Gracie Abrams, singer Lauren Allred, Ronnie Gilbert of The Weavers, Chad Sexton of 311, Easy e of N.W.A., Benmont Tench of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Chrissy Hind of The Pretenders, singer extraordinaire Miss Gloria Gaynor, Alpha Anderson of Chic, jazz saxophonist Sonny Rollins, blues singer Little Milton, Ben Bossy of Romeo Void, composer Diane Warren, Margot Chapman of Starland Vocal Band of Afternoon Delight fame, singer Jermaine Stewart, David Steele of Fine Young Cannibals, Leroy Moore of the Dave Matthews Band, singer Ronnie Dove, Dennis Thompson of MC5, saxophonist Ron Blake, Christopher Auckland of Lush, Kyle Stevens of Bango Tango, spectacular Blue Smith of Pretty Ricky, General Austin Witcher of Another Bad Creation, Jimmy Irwin of Mindless Self-Indulgence, 50s session guitarist Al Kiola, jazz composer and band leader Graham Bell, bassist Dave King, 
pianist Michael Feinstein, drummer Hamilton Lee of Furniture, jazz pianist Paul Toby, pianist Arthur Ferrante of Ferrante and Tetcher, trumpet player and composer Joe Newman, and songwriter Al Sherman. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 7th include violinist Johann Holzbogen, who passed away in 1775 at the age of 48. Cellist Jean-Louis Deport passed away in 1819 at the age of 69. Violinist Joseph Panny passed away in 1838 at the age of 43. Opera singer and wife of composer Giacchino Rossini, Isabella Colbrand, passed away in 1845 at the age of 60. Pianist Anthony Stolp passed away in 1872 at the age of 21. Composer Sidney Lanier passed away in 1881 at the age of 39. Composer Franz Volner passed away in 1902 at the age of 70. Composer Eduardo de Fuentes passed away in 1944 at the age of 70. Composer Gustav Ries passed away in 1977 at the age of 77. Drummer Keith Moon of the Who passed away from an accidental overdose of medication that was supposed to help him deal with years of alcohol abuse. He passed away in 1978 at the age of 31. Conductor Hans Munch passed away in 1983 at the age of 90. Composer Vladimir Vlasov passed away in 1986 at the age of 83. Blues guitarist Lefty Diz passed away from cancer in 1993 at the age of 56. Composer Niccolo Castigliani passed away in 1996 at the age of 64. Beatles publicist Derek Taylor passed away from cancer in 1997 at the age of 65. Gospel singer Irma Franklin passed away in 2002 at the age of 64. Singer-songwriter Warren Zevon passed away from cancer in 2003 at the age of 56. Singer Sergio Andrigo passed away in 2005 at the age of 72. The man they called the Croatian King of Funk, Dino Dvornik, passed away from an overdose in 2008 at the age of 44. Pianist and band leader Popcorn Wiley passed away from heart issues in 2008 at the age of 69. Dottie McGuire of the McGuire Sisters passed away in 2012 at the age of 84. The cellist for the Chico Hamilton Quintet, Fred Katz, passed away in 2013 at the age of 84. Singer Quan Reese of Ladies Coat passed away in a car accident in 2014 at the age of 23. Rapper Dex Osama was shot and killed in 2015 at the age of 22. Rapper Mac Miller passed away from a drug overdose in 2018 at the age of 26. And jazz historian Phil Schapp passed away from cancer in 2021 at the age of 70. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 8th, when in 1989... DJ and producer Avicii was born. 